My brothers and sisters in Christ, um, our readings today are filled with joy. And as I was saying, they talk about marriage and a wedding and the spiritual gifts that God gives to every one of us. I was thinking that there are three beautiful ideas that uh, can help us as uh, we still at the beginning of this new year can help us in our Christian life. First, the fact that God loves each one of us personally, then making sure that we invite Jesus to be part of our life, and then the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother, uh, in uh, our Christian life. Well, first, uh, it's obvious that uh, just listening to the passage of the Gospel and uh, the other readings, um, we uh, uh, once again, we understand that marriage and the family are at the heart of God's plan of love for creation, the mystery of salvation. The gospel that we just heard describes the first miracle of Jesus, changing water into wine. And he chose to perform this miracle at a wedding with his own mother present there. So we know that marriage is sacred to God, and marriage is a sacrament, as we all know, a sign of God's love for us. So in the mystery of God's plan of salvation, the marriage of a man and a woman is a symbol of how much God loves each one of us. In the first reading of today's Mass, the prophet Isaiah says, we have a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. God gives us all a new name when we're baptized. When we're baptized, our life becomes a new song. As the prophet says, a song of salvation as we also heard in the responsorial mass of today's mass, uh, responsorial psalm of today's mass. The prophet tells us in the first reading that God calls each of us my delight and that God, God rejoices in each one of us. He, God rejoices in you. So in this first reading, God is speaking to each one of us personally. He gives us a new name, our baptismal name. And that helps us to understand what it means to be a Christian. We are God's delight. We are God's joy. We don't reflect on this too often, but we should, because we are very, very special to God, each one of us personally. It's difficult for us to stop and think about it because we, are, we all are always so busy. But as we uh, begin this new year, let us especially ask for that grace to think about it as often as we can, at least every day, thinking, I am very special to God, each one of us. God rejoices in me, independently of our personal circumstances. God loves each one of us. Then, as I said before, Jesus' presence at this wedding means that he blesses marriage and he is present in every marriage. And as I was reflecting on these passages of the gospel that we all know so well, uh, it caught my attention this time uh, that Jesus was invited to the wedding. And I think that's something that can, we can reflect on that speaks to us in a special way. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to invite Jesus into our lives, into our families and homes, into our society. 
especially we reflect on the fact as we were doing before that God loves each one of us and he wants to be with us, we need to invite him to be a part of the everyday ordinary things in our lives. Is that what happens in my personal life? Is that what happens in our families and in our society? Beautiful, beautiful reflection as we, uh, as I said, start this new year. Let us make sure that we invite Jesus to be an essential part in our daily life. Then in the gospel passage, Jesus tells the servants at the wedding, fill the jars with water. I think our lives are like these water jars in the gospel today. Jesus wants to fill our lives with the water of good works, using our gifts to please God and to serve others in our daily lives. As we hear in the second reading of today's Mass, St. Paul saying that God gives each of us spiritual gifts and calls us to different forms of service. So Jesus is, God is giving us so many good things and good talents that we have to make to produce. It's like that water, that by the grace of God, God is gonna turn that, Jesus is gonna turn that into the best wines. So think about all the gifts that God has given to you, all the talents and graces and opportunities in your lives. And God wants to take these gifts that he has given to us to build up his kingdom, to fill up our lives with doing good things for other people, with bringing the love of God to our neighbors. And there are so many little ways in which we can serve God every day and bring that love of God to our brothers and sisters in our daily life, just giving a our attention to someone who needs us. Maybe someone in our family, at work, at school. Offering someone a word of encouragement or hope. And of course, of course, reaching out to those who are suffering and working for justice and peace in our society. That's what the works of mercy are all about. We know that there are the uh, 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 the works of mercy that help us to serve one another, the material and spiritual works of mercy. And all of this is the water that Jesus is talking about in the gospel. And he will take all the good that we offer and turn it, as I said, into the good wine of his kingdom. So let us especially welcome Jesus in our lives, in our families. And then finally, it is interesting to me the role that Mary, our Blessed Mother, the Mother of Jesus and our Mother plays in, in the passage of the Gospel today. The first thing that I'm sure all notice is her kindness, her concern for others. As we know, the wine has run out of the wedding, and we all can understand how embarrassing that will be for the couple. And Mary, in her mercy, wants to help them. So she turns to her son. My brothers and sisters, this is who Mary, our blessed mother, is. She's always our mother. And she has the same kindness towards us. She's compassionate to us in our needs. She knows when we have no wine. And she intercedes for us, asking Jesus to help us. So this passage of the gospel today is a reminder that we need to talk, turn to Mary all the time. We need to tell her what we hope for, 
what we pray for. We need to go to her when we feel dry or discouraged. When the wine or the joy in our lives seems to be running out. And Mary and Blessed Mother, as we just heard today in the passage of the gospel, she always gives us good advice, as she did to the servants in the passage of the gospel. Do whatever he tells you. Good advice, isn't it? So let us never forget that she's there, interceding for us. And let us never forget that the big miracles happen when we listen and invite Jesus to be part of our lives. Her advice, Mary's advice to us, is the same. Do whatever he tells you, and our water will become the best of wines. A beautiful miracle in our own personal lives. So, as we start this new year, this is how we are supposed to live as children of God. We always have to be thinking about Jesus, reflecting on the images of Jesus that we find in the gospel and making them personal in our reality, in our everyday life. We have to listen to Jesus' words and to follow his example. So as we continue our journey of faith, our Christian life, let us especially reflect on that extraordinary love that God has for each one of us, a deep love, a strong love. Let us invite Jesus to be central part of our lives. Let us always count on the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. Let us ask her, Mary, to help us to do our best for Jesus so that he will turn the water of our everyday life into fine wine for his kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.